In this video I'm gonna show you how exactly I set up alarms for Freestyle Libre on my phone and on my reader. And no matter which Freestyle Libre you use or what country you are in, you can start using alarms on your Libre right now and improve your blood sugar control. So scan your sensors and let's go! Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom, I've been a type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel I help you navigate your diabetes journey. And let's get right to the meat and bones of this video and that is how to set alarms on your Freestyle Libre to warn you when your blood sugar is running too high or too low. Just keep in mind I'm not a medical professional, this is not medical advice and I'm just sharing my own experience. Step 1. Find out what Freestyle Libre version you are using. It's written on the package. Alarms is a new functionality that Abbott introduced only for the Libre 2 sensors, so the second generation. But if you have an older version like Libre 1 or Libre 14 days, wait for the second half of this video where I will show you a little trick how you can get alarms on Libre 1, Libre 14 days and all the other older versions. Step 2. Decide if you want to receive alarms on your phone or your Libre reader. If you want to use the reader you need this blue one and if you want to use your phone you need NFC and Bluetooth enabled. If you don't know how to do that just delegate this task to your children. Now in most countries where Libre 2 is already on the market the Libre link app for your phone is already designed to receive the alarms from the sensor and you don't need this blue reader at all. If you are in the US then unfortunately at time of this recording in January 2021 Abbott still doesn't have FDA approval for the alarms in the Libre link app. So you will need this blue Libre 2 reader in the US for now. Guys and you will not be able to receive alarms on both the reader and the phone at the same time. You need to pick one of these devices Devices. And it's important that you activate the sensor with the device that you want to receive the alarms on. So if you want to get alarms on the phone, activate the sensor with the phone. And if you want to get the alarms on the reader, activate the sensor with the reader. Step 3. Apply your sensor and activate it. I'm not going to talk about how to insert and activate the sensor today because it's all described in another video I made and I will link it here and put a link in the show notes. I'm just going to say one thing. If you activate the sensor with the reader, you can still use your phone to scan the sensor and get readings. But if you activate the sensor with your phone, you will not be able to use the reader at all with that sensor. So make up your mind before you activate. Step 4. Finally, how to set the alarms. And I'm gonna show you how to do it on the phone first. It's very simple. You open the LibreLink app and in the menu on the left hand side you select alarms which will bring you to the alarm settings screen. First, we set the low glucose alarms. By default, they are at 3.9 millimol, but you can have them anywhere between 3.3 and 5.6. I like to have them at 4.5 because I know this is approximately the moment when I'm dropping where I want to get a snack or suspend my basal rate on the insulin pump to prevent a hypo. And you can choose between two alarm sounds. Standard, which is a bit quiet, or custom, which is quite loud and should easily wake you up even if you have deep sleep. Now if you want to get alarms on the locked phone screen when your phone is muted or in do not disturb mode, you need to allow this by moving the last toggle to the right and also by allowing all notifications for the Libre Link app in your phone settings. Again, if you're not very good with technology, just ask someone else to help you with the settings. For high glucose alarms, the process is exactly the same and you can set the level for high alarms anywhere between 6.7 and 22 millimol. Although I don't understand why anyone would want to use 22. High alarms are set at 10 millimol by default and I have mine at 8.2 millimol right now because when I go over this level after meal I know that I probably didn't take enough insulin and I make a small correction right away. Guys let me know what levels you use for low and highs. I think that would make for a really interesting discussion in the comment sections. So let us know. By the way you can also deactivate any of the alarm types completely if you don't want to be disturbed during your sleep or in an important meeting. But be careful because your blood sugar might not like that. I've already told you that he or she thinks they are most important in the world and if you do that they might get upset 
and they might do something nasty to you, so watch out. Now one important thing is that setting the alarm levels will not change your ideal range levels that you previously set. You will see the alarm levels as these red dotted lines and the ideal range as the green area on your home screen. And the last type of the alarm that you can get is a signal loss alarm, which will warn you anytime your phone stops receiving alarms or when your receiver is too far from you. And because the sensor signal is sent via Bluetooth, you need to have your receiver close enough, ideally in the same room, to not lose the signal. Now setting things up on this blue Libre reader is very similar. You need to go to settings, alarms and click on change alarm setting. Here you can activate and set low, high, signal loss alarm just like on the phone. You can also adjust volume and vibration in the sounds and vibration section. Now to be honest I don't really like the reader. I think it's much less user friendly than a phone. And it's because the touch screen on the reader is terrible and the response time is very long so I almost never use it since I started using the phone. Using the reader kind of feels like using a 20 year old Nokia phone. Uh, no offense to Nokia fans. By the way you could see that I have different units of measurement on my phone which uses millimoles per liter and my reader which uses milligrams per deciliter. It's because I bought the reader in Germany and I downloaded the app in Switzerland and I can't change the units of measurement for any of them. So when getting the reader or the app always try to do it in the country where you live because changing these units of measurement is really not possible right now. Step 5. Consider special situations. So what if for example you want your Libre to alarm you at different levels at different times of day. If you're like me you might prefer to run a little bit higher or not be bothered by alarms when you work out or sleep for example. I think we all hate an alarm waking us up from a really nice dream. Unfortunately Libre app and reader don't allow you to set different alarm levels during different times of day. So you always have to change the alarm levels manually before you go to bed or start working out. But there is a solution for this. And if you remember at the beginning of this video, I told you that I will show you a trick how to start using alarms on older versions of Freestyle Libre. And it's actually the same solution and it's a DIY solution. And for this solution, you will need a third party transmitter like Miao Miao or Bubble and their own mobile app. If you want to learn more about these third party solutions, Click on the video on the screen right now. And guys, next week I will be talking about different Libre apps that you can use in your phone. So subscribe down below, hit the bell, activate all notifications so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao!